The third boss of Mio is called Hino Enma, and uh, today I'm going to show you a recipe on how to defeat her. She can be quite difficult, so uh, there are a few things that you should know about before heading into this dangerous battle. At the start of the fight, Hino Enma will charge towards you with a giant swoop attack. She will indicate this by giving some sound indications. She will stun and uh, scream out loud while charging towards you. You want to make sure to either dodge to the left or right or keep running by holding the X button uh, to either side. After dodging the initial attacks, she will adapt into different moves depending on how far you are away from her. If you're close ranged uh, and uh, within range of her melee attacks, she will instantly try to kick you with her kick attacks. It could either be 1-2 combo or she can go into a third overhead kick as well. Uh, so you want to make sure that you try to back off away from her and don't go in after the second attack, even if she only does two attacks. Additionally, she has another melee attack with an umbrella. She'll slap you in the face three times with that one. And uh, to avoid it, just dodge backwards. Um, I recommend that you, that you dodge by double-clicking the X button, or uh, you can also click one time uh, by dodging backwards and keep holding it in to run. Um, but it's safer to, to roll because it will give you some invisibility frames that uh, give you some advantages. Uh, you want to make sure you avoid both of these types of attacks because she will build up a paralysis on you. Uh, when this one is fully built up, it will uh, stun you for uh, a couple of seconds, like three or four seconds, and you'll be open to her attacks. And this might be fatal, so be careful not to get hit by her, her moves. So the move I probably had the most trouble dealing with was the Whirlwind attack. She will do this when you are close to her, uh, so you want to make sure you back off extremely quickly because this move is quite fatal. It will instantly stun you uh, if she hits you like two or three times, and uh, then you'll probably not survive the next hit afterwards. Uh, you can avoid this attack by clicking the X button and dodging backwards while holding the stick down. And you can also uh, hold the X button in after the roll to run a bit backwards. Um, I think it is possible to outrun the move if you keep uh, keep um, dashing. Um, but I recommend that you roll additionally as well. It will uh, use up some key, but uh, you'll regain that fairly quickly. Now, only three moves left. She has a projectile attack, which she'll indicate by uh, uh, making a, a very specific um, noise. She'll use this mainly when you are uh, far away from her. You can dodge through this, or you can roll to the side. Um, uh, it's fairly easy to dodge if you time it correctly. You have to time it based on her uh, her noises. Now, if the projectile hits you, you will be stunned immediately, so it's super fatal. Uh, sometimes she hits you twice. She'll, she'll first hit you with one move and stun you, and then she'll combo it up with another move, like the swoop attack she introduced with, um, which is very dangerous. So try not to get hit by the projectiles. After some time has passed, she will fly up into the air and start attacking you from afar. Uh, you won't be able to hit her with any other weapons uh, than the, uh, the ranged ones, but I would recommend attacking her when she is flying, because she will start shooting out her projectiles again. Um, they will have a bit different timing when she's in the air. You have to time it a bit better. Now, depending on how far into the battle you are, she will shoot either one, two or three projectiles uh, in succession. Uh, afterwards, she will uh, maybe throw out some shurikens, uh, some projectiles that will hit in a cone. First towards your left, then towards your right. You might want to dodge to your right first, and uh, then dodge backwards, or two times to the right. If you get hit by the projectiles once, you might be able to survive. You will be unstunned when she hits you with the second projectile. That's one thing you should note. Now, after she has used her projectile attacks in the air, she will swoop down again like she did at the beginning of the fight and continue fighting as normal. I would recommend that you stay uh, within a melee range. You can move out and within a melee range to kind of trigger her melee attacks. And then you can go in and deal with her uh, after she has done each move. That's my suggestion and that's how I beat her. Uh, she will have one more move though. Towards the end of the fight, she will try to grab you. Uh, this move is terrible if it hits you, but if you're able to dodge backwards, you can make a grand combo against her and deal a ton of damage, potentially stunning her and um, then it's uh, fair to say that you've defeated the third boss of Neo. Now with all that explained, I'm going to show you my first boss kill uh, against uh, Hinoenma. And um, the fight was uh, difficult, but I managed to kill her without using living weapon or using uh, more than four elixirs. 
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. At the end, I will show you my stats and my equipment. So you can check that out and compare it to yours and see how you fare. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please click the subscribe uh, button over there and check out my playthrough uh, of, of Neo over on the right side of the screen. And there will be a hidden treat for you there as well. I've been Kudlis. I'll see you next time.